Okay, I'm here with Mr. Bruce Hasselwood today, and I'm, he's talking about. So I'm going to be talking about some of the things that he's doing in the auditorium today. Now, what are some of the things that you're talking about today? Uh, we're going to talk about diversity and inclusion uh, in our society. And I'm here to talk about the things that we've done for 12 years uh, the next few days. Uh, additionally, we're going to the middle school. We'll talk about diversity, inclusion, stability, and that kind of thing. And I do a lot of interactive activities to try and continue to fill As I say to them, sometimes they have an aha moment where they go, Oh, okay, I never thought of it. Something like that. What are the what other things do you try to spread to teenagers in middle school and high school? Uh well the big thing is uh, self esteem. Self esteem. I try to let them see that they're unique, they're special. They should think about their names, who they are, and how they should project themselves. So think about this. Because that will help a lot of times the students in this age group. Get past the shyness, get past the issues of being a human, the issues of being a part. Because everybody wants to be a part of it. And when you look around the school, you see kids who aren't a part of the moment and what they're thinking and how they're feeling. And so I try to give them something to live on, grab on to them. They can just sort of walk with them. Hopefully, they can get a So, do you do this for a company or do you do it on yeah, well, I'm the company. I'm Bruce House. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a retired college administrator. I work at the University of Virginia. Why is this the face of a liar? I do a lot of this. I've got a lot of training. Why is this the face of a liar? I do a lot of school districts. Why is this the face of a liar? Municipalities. Because the issues of the day. You know, a lot of issues in terms of dealing with diversity. I do school, I do police officers, police, uh, police officers as well, police departments, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it's different components of different folks, and it's sort of twisted depending upon their background, how mature sure they are, etc. I'm talking to uh, middle school and elementary school students, I do it a lot differently. I try to come out with something, but I do it a lot differently and slow down. But it's, it's ever changing and it's something new all the time and, and uh, you know, keeps me busy and a lot of fun. Look at me, he'll be the first one in this line and you'll be the first one in this line. I want you to get in order in your line, in your line, according to your height. Okay, at the front of the line will be the shortest, I'm sorry. At the front of the line will be the shortest. At the front of the line will be the shortest. The front of the line will be the shortest. The front of the line will be the shortest. Come on, come on. Come on, let's hurry, let's hurry, let's hurry. Let's hurry. Okay, I think some of you are doing it, some of the others are not. Stay in the same line you were in. Don't cross lines. Okay, this simple exercise, which you can do by observation, is to show you that you have now moved to a community. You are in a community based upon your height. If you look left and right, you see who's close to you, who is in your community. You see how unique they are, and that they share something with you. Hi. We talked about names. We talked about how that was important. You were in another community. You took your uniqueness of your name, etc., 
and you are now in the community according to your height. But what we do in life is we take our uniqueness and our things about us with us, and we travel through communities and share other things. So now you're going to get in line according to your last name in that one line. Your last name. Remember, you had two lines over here. Let's move. Let's do it. Stay in your line. Let's go. Come on, get in the line. Let's get, finish it up. Alphabetical last name. Alphabetical last name. Alphabetical last name. Alphabetical last name. Let's see if you did it right. Let's go A's. B's. C's. Is any, what did you guys start with the first? What is it? I didn't see any hands over D's, okay. All right, let's go with the W's. W's, into the line, let's see if they got it. W's. What you, what's your last, what? Y's, any Y's? What's your last letter? T, okay, all right. So you somewhat got it together. Think about that. You now took your uniqueness of your name. You took the uniqueness of your height with you. Now you are in a community according to your last name. This is what we... We take our uniqueness and our things with us as we travel and move around. You go, you get your education somewhere, you share that. You do your banking, your hospitals, your recreation. You travel in and out and meet people with different backgrounds and uniqueness. And we don't think about it, but that's what happens. So this little exercise will show you that. Now let me do a final one here where let's have right over here, let's have this row move down here. Stop and then turn. Okay, let's have this row do the same thing. Stop and turn and face. Keep sliding down and face this side. Okay, let's do that over here. I'll take this, this side. Who's first here? Okay, you're doing your own thing. Let's stop right here. Everybody look at me on this side. Back up like she is. This side back up. Move across from someone. Directly across. Okay. How about, are you four that aren't doing anything? Come here, go down there. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. You, you're forming a new line right there, turn and face left. There you go. Okay, how about uh, from here down, go down, from here up brother. Go down and form a second line, crawl. Follow, follow him, follow, follow, follow him, follow, follow, follow. 
Stop right there. Turn around and face her. Where you go? I want to see if everyone is. All right, you guys, get right in this line. Get in this. One. All right, I want to make sure you look across and you have a partner. Look across, partner. Look across the partner. Okay, how about you four go down? Looking across the partner. Yeah. Look across, you have a partner across from you. Okay, everybody, I want you to cross your arms. Fold your arms the way you normally fold them. Take them down. Fold your arms again. Take them down. Now I want you to fold your arms the way you normally do not fold them. All right, put them down. Fold your arms the way you normally do not fold them. Okay, what? You had to think about it, right? You had to think about it. If you wanted to change and do it that way, you'd have to think about it a lot, right? Okay, put our hands, hands down. Let's uh, put our hands together. Put our hands together. All right, take them down. Put our hands together again. Take them down. Now I want you to put your hands together the opposite way with the other thumb up. I hear you screeching and screaming. Okay, think about that. We do things all the time without thinking because we're used to doing it a certain way and we don't think about it, we just do that. And this is just to show you that if you wanted to change what you're doing, those two simple things, you have to think about it. And it takes energy and time. Same way with your attitudes, same way with things that you think about people or groups in our society. If you want to change, you have to work at it. You have to think about it. So it's not just routine. Now I want you to turn and look at the person across from you. I want you to look and see what they're wearing. See what they're wearing, the person across from you. Now I want you, everyone, to turn around. Okay, this is called the change game. What I want you to do is to change three things about your appearance before we turn around and see if your partner can guess them. Now, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Keep it legal, please. I got arrested two weeks ago. Keep it legal, please. Three things about you. Don't turn around and look. Three things about your appearance. Okay, how many of you got three? How many of you got three? Raise your hand. Guess them. Oh, not that many. How many of you guessed two? Ooh. You guys were mystery people. Obviously, the others got one. Okay, uh, you can change back to where you were. Oh. Wait a minute, you know, I noticed that some of you changed back already. Why'd you do that before I told you? What? Why'd you do that before I told you? Huh? Why'd you do that before I told you? 
Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I hear people say it's uncomfortable. I feel weird. It was odd. It was different. And that is what this was about. Is to have you understand you can change back to the way you were. But there are some people that we say in our society are different who can't change back. So think about your thoughts there when we get into hallways and you see people bullying people, your peers. You see other students bullying. Think about what that person may think. They can't turn change back like you could. Understand that everybody wants to be accepted. Everybody wants to be a part. It's hard to be perceived as being different. And I already told you, change is an ongoing process. Okay, thank you. Take your seats. Man rush.
Impact of conditioning. It's a simple exercise to show you how we get in the rut and we do, again, the thing, thing over and over because it's easy to do it that way. It's easy to listen to someone to talk about one of our classmates and accept it without analyzing and asking questions. We get in the rut, we just do it. Condition, we're conditioned. Think about our advertising, TV, telling you what cars to buy, who to vote for. Okay, I'll show you the impact of condition, how we're conditioned. Uh, my first dog's name was Spot. Well, let's say Spot 10 times and go on my clown. Okay, ready? Spot. 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 Oh, wait a minute, let's go back. Some of you didn't understand my instruction. Let's say spot 10 times. Is that word too tough for you? S P O T spot. Okay, ready? Spot. 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 What do we do when we come to a green light? Some of you spotted or stop. Spot, stop, it was easy to say that. So some people said that. Condition. Let's do another one. Uh, I like to, um, on Sundays I roast. So let's do a roast. 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 Some put bread and others put toast. Impact of conditioning, obviously. Why do you buy a toast if you already got toast? Bread. How about this one? That tree is white. Let's go white. We'll go white ten times. White. What do milk, what do, oh, I messed it up. What do cows drink? Water. 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 Some of you will say milk like I just said. Impact of conditioning. We're conditioned to not think and just respond without thinking. Last one. Um, let's do the number 10. 10. What are aluminum cans made of? Aluminum! Yeah. Aluminum cans are made of aluminum, not tin. Impact of condition. Just to show you how we do not think. We just go along with what's being said and thrown at us. And we've just got too much coming at us and our brain can't handle it. We gotta work ourselves to think about it. Okay? So what I want to have you look at two paradigms real quick as we end. <laughs> if you read below, it's two. It's both. Tells you it's below which side is what. Got it? We can look at the same thing. We can look at the same thing and we can interpret differently. Based upon our background, our experiences, our frame of reference, how we're brought up, what kind of education, we can see the same thing and interpret it differently.
and all she needs are cups. Look at the same thing and interpret it differently. Can you see the horse? You're looking at it. Think about this. There is a knight right here riding a horse. Look at the lips of the horse. Look at the front hooves of the horse. Rear hooves of the horse. Look at the tail of the horse. And the knight is on it. That's the left arm. And the snowman head is in here with that's it. That's the nose of the snowman. We can see the same thing and interpret it differently. So the idea is for you to ask other people how they saw it. So if you have a yes, oh gotcha. If you have a if you have a difference of opinion with someone, ask the question. How do you see that? Why do you believe that? Instead of arguing. We can see the same thing and we can interpret it differently. The basic one on this one is that you can see the Native American with their nose here, their lips here, their headdress, their ear. And then the Eskimo is a person standing up, standing up, looking in. See the feet of an Eskimo, they've got a hooded coat on, looking away, a hooded coat, looking into a, like a, a cave or something. We can see the same thing, but we can interpret it differently. Same thing, interpret it differently. I didn't mean to. So, when I show the paradigm, the emphasis is for you to make sure that you ask somebody you have a difference of opinion instead of arguing and fighting each other. Okay? I'm passing out a survey as we end. Uh, what, I, what the survey does is help me tweak the next time I do it. I just ask you how things are going and some suggestions you may have uh, while we're doing that. Why is this the face of a liar? Why is that a face of a liar? Why is it a face of a liar? Do we, do you guys get... Can someone tell me why it's the face of a liar? Someone got it already. Because it says liar. You look at the eyes, it's an L-I-A-R. Turn your head to the right and watch it spells liar. Okay. So you guys have been very attentive. Good participation. And maybe I'll see you down the road and we'll do some other things. But I like you. I like if you could take a pencil or a pen and fill those forms out if you could and then I'll have somebody pick them up in the back. All right, thank you for being attentive.